What's up, everybody? This is Nick, and once again, welcome to the Pull Up a Chair podcast. As always, I am joined by the man of many hairs, Eric. And Eric, we are here. We are going to talk about something that, you know, a little something that you and I both love, something that really changed our world. Eric, where were you on August 6th, 1991? Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going back. I'm thinking. I'm remembering. I got it. I went to McDonald's that day. Okay. For breakfast. And what did you have? My parents told me that my dog had went to a better place. Oh. Uh, apparently, my brother had sold him. Did uh, he go to a farm upstate? <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. Um, and did I, I he hope meet so. my dog Tiger? Because that's where my dog Tiger. I hear they're playing Tiger. together now. That's what I've heard. I was at McDonald's drinking a nice cold McDonald's cup of high C. Oh, it was delicious. I can't wait to drink high C. It's one of my favorite drinks. In McDonald's. I hope they I, never get rid of it. I uh, I actually got. Some well, okay, you know we were gonna talk about something else, but I need to let you know I got some bad news, buddy. I hang What's on, that? I don't, hang on, wait. Is it Jimmy? Jimmy on the street. Jimmy calling on the in. street. Oh, he's laughing while he says this. He uh, he tells me to tell you. He's very happy to tell you. What's that? High C will no longer be at McDonald's. Instead, they're changing to Orange Fanta. Thank what? you, thank you, Jimmy. I know what? you you like making his life miserable. Anyway. <sighs> Thank right. you, Jimmy. One, Curse Jimmy. you to the nether regions. To the nether regions. All right. <laughs> well, that's a weird I, I'll place. be honest. High C is an awful drink. I oh, never man. liked High C. It was... You, you, know, a, I, you know, actually, I lie. I lie. I loved High C growing up. As an adult, I hate High C. It's disgusting. You know what I remember about High C? What do you remember? I remember playing soccer, and then at the yeah, end of the yeah. game, you that, know, the that, parents... The parents would bring at halftime. They'd bring little slices of orange. Okay. Yeah. At the end of the game, nice they'd bring a drink. Didn't have that. Okay. Well, you had a drink. They they let you drink things. Yes. We only got to drink if we won. I some parents brought high C, and it oh. was. I want to tell you, hot Oklahoma day. Uh huh. Yeah. Great day for high C. <laughs> Not a good day for, high C. <laughs> for a nice hot, hot steaming cup oh, of high tea. Oh man, it was. There were some brutal days. Uh, I loved it when they would, when the parent would bring Capri Sun. Yeah. Oh, Capri Capri Suns were the bomb. They, those are the parents who had the money. Well, yeah. I mean, they would show up, and you'd be like, "Yay!" But then whoever brought the high C, you were like, "No, yeah. my belly is gonna hate me." I mean, I'll be honest. The high C parents were the were the parents who um, just either didn't love their child or couldn't afford uh, the Capri Sun. This was before like the Kool-Aid jammers or any other thing, pouch drink that I can remember. It was Capri Sun was all there was. Yeah, my mom brought the, the Capri Sun. Your mom was rocking. Yeah, she, she knew what she was doing. You said they hated me. No, no, no. Oh, they they, 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 they must have liked everyone else on the team. Well, yeah. They got Capri Sun, which is the good stuff. So... No, no, my my mom brought didn't bring Capri Sun. I take that said. High C. I I got them too mixed up. High wow. C. Your your mom hated everybody. Yeah. Do you remember High C? You remember Ecto Cooler? They Ecto, did, it was it was it something with um, the Ghostbusters? Yes, it was. It was something that everybody actually very much liked. Were, yes, was, I do remember this because it I, was a I, green version. I had it, and I go, this reminds me of the Ghostbuster cereal, which I hate, and I didn't like it either. I love Ghostbusters. The cereal and the Ecto Cooler, I didn't like. Did well, you like Ecto Cooler? Turns out, actually, Ecto Cooler was a bunch of the cereal just mashed up and shoved into a. <laughs> I want. I want to say. Was, and you know what? I see the when you had the little box, the straw hardly ever worked. Can I just file a complaint right now? My straw would like bend the minute I put oh, it in. Oh, I see Ecto Cooler, man. I knew, I couldn't think but of it. But let me Ugh. let me just. Bring it back here. Bring, bring it back. We've we, been so far. You better bring it back. We are reporting that McDonald's, <laughs> this is, I mean, this is coming directly from us, your trusted news source here at Pull Up a Chair News. Oh, yeah, Network Newscast. Network News. Network. We are reporting that McDonald's is going away from high C on their little 
Yeah, they're fountain Bank drinks. Bank of fountain drinks. Uh-huh. Why, do they say why? I don't know. I, I'll i be honest. I didn't see a reason why. And I still see no reason why. I'm fine with it. High C has been in their repertoire since the 90s. It has been something that has been a staple that when I go into a McDonald's, I know I can get me some delicious... Okay, that, that word's hard to use when I'm describing... High C. High C. So I'm gonna, I can get <laughs> some orange tasting drink that I wouldn't really call tasty but like you said they are going to a Fanta version well I heard I, there's orange no, Fanta I heard there's an orange Fanta option in, in some I don't know if that's across the board I just read a new partnership uh, is about to be launched with Coca-Cola which will be replacing the bright beverage with Sprite Tropic Berry but I've also heard there's orange Fanta at some McDonald's. I wonder if that's a, a Wait, regional thing. There is something called Sprite Tropic, Tropic Berry. I've never heard of it. I never have either, but this sounds delicious. I'll, pro- I'll try that. Definitely will. Well, um, let me just say, in, in light of this new breakthrough, this breaking news that Sprite Tropic Berry is replacing it, let me just say... Goodbye, old friend, hi, C. <laughs> Hello. Hello, new best friend. A best Sprite. friend? Sprite. Well, I noticed I didn't even put the the word best friend with hi, C. That's true. I do it with you. I, you wow. know what? Wow. I'm just going to say I was casual acquaintances. <laughs> More with high C, and now you're become making it making it steady and real with the old Sprite Tropic Berry. Right, I mean this is real. I like it. it's Me real. And Sprite, it's real love. Tro- Tropic Berry. I may give it my letter jacket. Oh my goodness! All yeah. right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know why, but it just feels wrong. It just feels so wrong. Even though I'm not a fan of high C, just seeing high C at McDonald's brought back so many memories. That Sprite Tropic Berry will not bring. So I don't know what I'm going to do. One, I guess to see it, I'd have to go to a McDonald's. And I went to McDonald's not long ago. My kids wanted to play in the play area. So we ate there. But I don't know. I'm just... Times are changing, Nick. Times are changing, and I just don't know if I can handle it anymore. I don't know if... I don't know if I can handle it. I think this is for the better. Nothing good... Nothing... Nothing good came out of the 90s. Better let, nothing no, better wait, than wait let me let me nothing give, better than high C at McDonald's no, nothing wait, better let me just let me just sing let me just give a little tribute here it's so hard yes to say goodbye oh, my. maybe not not for high C <laughs> uh, it's actually gonna be easy once I see Sprite Tropic Thunder <laughs> is it Tropic Thunder it's Tropic Berry whatever Tropic Berry Thunder Sprite Berry you got a berry in there you're yeah. good all right so nothing good came out of the 90s except for high C at McDonald's nothing at all well let's get back to what we were originally <laughs> going to talk about what, yeah what are we talking what about was today? originally you you described we had to go I had to break that news to you my hey, friend man. and I'm very I'm very sorry to have to, you know, I knew it was a good feeling just knowing High C was out there My waiting heart hurts. for you. I know. My heart I know. Hurts. But I originally asked you, where were you on August 6th, 1991? You shared that. I, share, I, was, I, I don't remember because I was 11. And I was, oh, you were, weren't you at rehab by then? Well, no, that was 12. That was. <laughs> That was oh, you're the, still in the depths of your addiction. Though, that then. was the oh. years 12 to 14. I got you. About 6 to 11 was my addiction period. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're not going to get into what you were addicted no, to. No, no. But uh, uh, well, we'll continue on. I I mean, I I got help. <laughs> I, I'm i glad you're better now. You're I better. am. I, I mean, so much better. All right. Well, what was going on on August 6th? Tell me. I can't, I, the anticipation's killing me. Eric, there was this little thing that few people know about it was it was called the internet the inter now the internets Nets. were were available early on i mean they were created 50s 60s you know there was a little movie you might have seen it called hackers well no it, angelina I, jolie no the one i'm talking about oh. is war games with matthew matthew broderick is war, do yeah. you want to play a game yes that, that that is a very good game yeah so i mean, I mean it, <laughs> movie 
it, it that they had the internet, but there was this thing that was launched called the World Wide Web, and it went public on August sixth, nineteen ninety one, and it is it is what most people know as the internet. Yeah, internet has actually been around a while. I mean, internet is. is the infrastructure. Uh, what is the World Wide Web? What does that actually stand for? What is it? What does that mean? Versus when people say I'm on the internet, what they really mean is they're on the World Wide Web. Right. So what is the World Wide Web? I got a definition for this. It's an information system on the Internet that allows documents to be connected to other documents by hypertext links, enabling the user to search for information by moving from one document to another. So web pages are actually the World Wide Web. That's right. So, I mean, it's basically the graphical interface for the Internet. If, yes. If you want to put a, you know, a name on it. It's, okay. It's just the graphical abilities of the Internet. So when we go from like Facebook to uh, my personal favorite, MySpace. No, 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 no. You go to Puck, Puck, Puck Podcast website. Well, yeah, there is that one, but that that's only that's linked on my MySpace account. Oh, okay, good. That's how you get to it. You route through and, your MySpace. Yeah, and my Angel Fire. My Angel Fire just kicks directly to that. It Puck, redirects. Redirects right to exactly it. what the World Wide Web was made for. It was. It was. Man, you're all, living the dream. All pages should go back to puckpodcast.website. What is puckpodcast.website while we're talking about it? I am glad you asked. It's a little place on the World Wide Web that that will tell you all about our podcast. A little podcast called Pull Up a Chair, which is where we got the where we got the acronym P U C Podcast. It is the Pull Up a Chair. Get this? Wait for it. Podcast. Wow. This is amazing. I am flabbergasted. All right, continuing on. So but let's talk about all the different things that have, I mean, what was your first impression? When, when first do you impression, remember first impression? the World Wide Web? All right, let me think about this. Now, I, the first, okay, here's what it was. Now, we had computers growing up. My, uh, my mother worked for an energy company, and she worked on computers because... Uh, you know, energy companies had money, and so yeah, you know, yeah, I know, right? And what? and so she said we should learn computer. It was, and so it was a, uh, it was a, I don't remember. I think it was a micro. It was it ran DOS. It ran Microsoft three point one. I want to say. Mm-hmm. I don't know who made the actual hardware or any of it. I can't remember any of that. But it was running Microsoft 3.1. We got a printer with it. It was the banner printers. It was like the dot matrix. And it had like a yeah. a box of paper that fed through it. So you could make banners. And that's what I do. I'd make banners. I had banners all over my room. Just of paper banners. So that's that's just the, that's the computer. I didn't get the internet till I was out of high school. I didn't touch the internet until college. I worked at Walmart. If you've never heard, it's a it's like a, a place you can go buy various things. If you've never heard of it, uh, my Walmart that I worked at, we get a discount if you work there, and they were doing a Christmas special as they do, and there was a special on buying a computer, and I already knew this because I looked at the inventory sheet weeks ahead of what's coming in, and I knew what the markup was, and I knew everything, and in fact, they were selling it for like a four percent markup. That's it, which is really low for Walmart, and. I was like, I'm buy that, but I get 10% off. So I was getting, I, they were losing money when I bought it. I was like, yeah, I'm sticking it to Walmart. So I bought this. I, I was a Hewlett Packard. I want to say a Hewlett Packard PC. I got it home. I unboxed it. I didn't know what to do with it, to be honest with you. And, uh, but what came with it was of course, AOL discs that gave you, how long was it? 30 minutes? Something like that. I want to say it, it was not long. It a couple, maybe a few hours. Yeah, and you, you know, people would buy the, they would buy things just to get these discs, yes. so that they, they didn't have to play. Now, I do the thing I remember about the internet, yeah, about the World Wide Web, the screeching. Oh, the modems. The modems. Yeah, the modems. Mine had an internal modem by then, the internal modem. So I didn't have the separate modem. Right. I just like plugged in to my PC, which did all the yelling at me, and I could mute it. Right. So I did that. And that was, I mean, that was the other thing is that you remember if anybody picked up the phone, oh, yeah. it would like drop and you'd be like, no one pick up the phone. 
I'm looking at stuff. Well, uh, my, no one called my brother. Uh, no one called the house for me. No one called the house for my dad. And so that wasn't a problem where I lived. Well, a lot of people called my dad. Why? Your dad he, has friends? No, no, he has co- he has work he has uh, employees. He does. Do, yeah, he does. Yeah. So I mean, no, <laughs> well, yeah, he, I know your dad has at least one friend. I've met him. He does. He does have at least one. We we pay him. <laughs> no, uh, but no, that's what I remember is is the. Am I getting on the internet right yeah, now? Yeah, I know. Like, whoa! Then you and your voices—you know. are the man of many Buddy, noises. I am. I am much like the guy off Police Academy. I can do sounds. I can You're do amazing. voices. You are amazing. I, I. I don't. I mean, I don't like to toot my own horn, but yes, I am. I'm sure you could, though. I could. I go, boop, boop, doo, doo. See, see, see what oh I did goodness. there? Man, what is this? But, where am I? But it was. You would get on. And you would, you know, do a few things. The, what I remember of the internet was actually my brother, who was four years older than me. Yes. He he was getting on the internet far before I was, and so that made me get on the internet. Oh, so you had someone to lead you down the, the, the path yes. of the internet. Yes. He, I was alone He in showed that. me the dark side. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. He didn't show me the I dark met side. Your brother. I I found something amazing called AOL where you could get on and talk to people. I did that. Did you ever get on and talk to people in, in the in the chat, chat rooms? Chat rooms, yeah. Yeah, man. Do chat rooms exist anywhere? I'm sure they still do. I in fact I, I think mean, AOL's still out there. Remember Instant Messenger? Like yeah, there I was, actually still have an IM IM account. I have an IM account that had no email account. Really? Yeah, you could get an IM account without getting an email account in the original, in the original years because IM was like, email was around, but they weren't connected at any, in any way. Right. So you could get an IM account. I had a someone asked me, a few like ten years ago. They're like, "Hey, do you got an IM account?" I'm like, "A, you mean AOL IM?" They're like, "Yeah." I go, "Like, yeah, I think I do." What what is? It? I'll email you something. I go, "I don't have an email account. I have an IM account." I'm like, I, and so I, I don't remember if I ever like resolved that, but I have an IM account, which I never use. I do remember people could send you stuff through IM though. They could send you like documents or yes. files. Yes. And I mean, that was one way that. Ooh, hold on. Something's coming back to me. Okay. Okay. So are I. You, are you having a stroke? No, no. I'm, I remember okay. earlier time with the internet. Okay. I was in high school. I was hanging out with a with with younger doodly guy. Doodly 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 yeah. doodly doodly. I was hanging out with this younger guy whose mom, I don't remember what she did, but she had a computer and the internet. Mm-hmm. And we were over at his house, and I don't even remember what we were doing. We were on a chat room talking to some people, and a guy was like, we asked how you do something. He goes, hey, I'll send you. No, he asked us to send him something through an email. He was attached and sent it in an email. And we were in high school and we we're like, what, what is, I go, I know what I, I've heard of an email and, and the kid, he was like two years younger, knew, he was like, okay, my mom has an email account. She logged into it, which I think it was AOL. Mm-hmm. And she, we pulled up the interface and I was like, okay, type, type, type. How do we attach something? And we were talking to him and we we're like, we sent you an email. We think we attached it. All we did was we had the email open, opened the document or whatever, and then sent it. And I go, maybe because we opened it, it sees that. Did I did. I had no idea. Tell me that you opened Clippy. Did you open Clippy? Did he was he like? I see that you want to attach something. I think we tried to get figure. We used Clippy to figure out how to do it, and it didn't know. Oh, it didn't know. No. Um. So we, he were like, we don't know how to do it. He goes, look for a paperclip symbol, and click on it. And we're like, a paperclip symbol. Let's click, and we figured and, and got sent him something, and he sent something back. I can't remember what it was exactly. However, that that's the earliest memory I have, and that had to be in nineteen. I could drive, so ninety six. Okay. Ninety ninety six ninety seven. Now, now my first email account wasn't until nineteen ninety eight, August of ninety eight. My first email account, in, which is one I still have. I know, I know it, I know it. You know which one I got? Yep, I was gonna. I almost said it, but yeah, uh, buddy, I I got the sweet sweet Juno. You got that Juno account? I got it. It it is still it is still around. 
I don't know. I don't know how long I've had that thing. I do remember in high school, or in high school, one of our teachers. I was in a computer class. One of our computer teachers. Class? Yeah, this is this is the international sign computer for class, computers. Guys. So uh, on this sign language cast, this is the symbol for computer class, according to Nick's version of sign language. And if you're listening this through audio, we just did a visual joke, and you'll never know what happened. <laughs> Go to YouTube. Dot com. If you never heard of that site, it's it's pretty fun. It's on the World Wide Web. It sure is. And go to pull up a chair, uh, type that in, and you'll find us eventually. Actually, we're, actually, we're at the top. If you type us in and you click on channels, we're at the top of the. We are moving list. up in the world, Nick. We are moving up. We are we are not so far down the list anymore to be lost in the in the pages. Many pages of pull up a chair like sounding name channels. Well, fantastic! Aren't we doing better? We, so you you were talking about your your Juno account? Yes, I mean I I got my Juno account. Okay. Around I want to say probably because my brother, he graduated in '96, so I probably got my Juno account about '94. Wow, you got it before I did. Yeah, mine wasn't until my first day of uh, college. The teacher took us to the computer lab and said, "Everyone." Go to, what did we use? Hotmail.com and get a... I remember that. And get and get an email account. No one had one. Right. And get it. So, which I still have that one, which I don't use, which is owned by Microsoft. Right. Um, which I do use it to, to log into Microsoft products to this day. So I've had a Hotmail account for nearly 20 years. That is, that is sad. What's that? I so mean, I, it's sad that we have these things that... That, you know, and you know what's even weirder is that I haven't, I don't know that I've deleted much. Like, I got to a habit where I just stopped deleting things. So I probably have email in my Juno account dating back to... The beginning of time? Beginning of the internets. I know I'm the exact opposite. I delete, I keep my inbox of only active items. Now, I still have my Hotmail account after, two years later, when I was, uh, I moved to uh, OU. When I went to mm-hmm. OU or sometime around that time. I uh, got a Yahoo account. Yahoo. Yahoo. Back when it was big. And I still use that one a little bit. And But once Gmail came out, I went straight to Gmail. Once I got an invite. Oh, man. Yeah. You remember you had. Did I invite you or did you, you invite me? No, you invited me. Yeah, I invited I, you to You Gmail. invited me in in college. Yeah. And I remember because it was, it was like the Sam's Club of email addresses. Yeah. Oh, you mean. Like, what do you mean? You needed a membership. Yeah, you needed a membership. To get like, one, yeah. Like, oh, you can't be a part of this exclusive club. You need a friend to let you in. Like, it was, And I even tried to forge a fake ID, and they <laughs> still wouldn't let me in. No, I, I forgot all about I forget who I got my... No, I got my request from my, uh, my buddy Justin. I think he got, got it. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, I, owe you, I owe you for getting me a Gmail well, account. Well, what's interesting is, I don't know if Google still has those metrics, but that was, that'd was that be really interesting to see. Is, because I think they gave it to everyone at the company, and they gave everyone 100 to give out. And later on, as it trickled down, I think you had like five? You just had a couple you could give out. I don't remember. Yeah, I, think, I don't remember. I think you're right. I mean, it was, there was something, there was something to it, but... Do you remember the other thing that was like a real big craze when this internet came out? And even the Simpsons. You mean the World Wide Web? The internets. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, no. The World Wide Web. You remember You remember where people would, and even the Simpsons made an episode about it, where, where Homer got on the internet and he found like the, oh, what, do you, what did we call those? They're, I mean, they're kind of like, what, what are GIFs or GIFs now where... Mm-hmm. The it was like there was like touchdown Jesus and oh yeah they had all the moving little pictures and that sort of thing that people would put on their angel fire and their MySpace oh yeah yeah I remember what you're talking about that yeah this, I don't know what those were those little weird graphics that were they people were strange would, graphics I remember I remember a buddy of mine in high school pulling up one of those graphics and be like look at this thing and it was just this weird. 8-bit graphic, you know, of, of a guy doing this, like moving his hands. And I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. I'll tell you, from The Simpsons, the, what I remember <laughs> about the internet off The Simpsons as we... Everything comes back to The Simpsons, doesn't it? Uh, it was comic book guy 
he I don't remember what what season this was, but he's looking at Captain Janeway, like a an image of Captain Janeway was pulling up on his screen, but it's line by line. Yes, and it's a seductive, we'll say, picture of Cap. Of course, they don't, it's Simpsons, they don't show anything. And it as it gets to the area he's most interested in, I think it uh, it he loses connection or something. I can't remember. You remember that? I do. That's a, I, that's what I, I remember about. I don't remember the the episode. Okay, but, but I can imagine. I think because other shows have done that gag where it's like they've gone back to, you know, it's they've set it back to that time. Yeah, and it's like. You know, pulling up something was like, yeah, just line by line, pixel by pixel. It man. was, it was, because you, you would sit there. I remember, I remember that. I think my brother was downloading a picture of some kind for a report he was doing. Oh, sure, he was okay. And it was, it was going really slow, and my brother was like, "Okay, just let this go, and, and we'll walk away, and it'll be done." In you know, 10, 15 minutes. Right. Yeah, I, I think it that. took like 30 or 40 minutes for it to all pull up. Well, who was your first provider? Who was your internet provider? We had, oh man, I no, you know what? I think it was an American Online deal. I think that we used, now I do know, once, once my brother went to OU, we used OU's dial-in. Oh, you, you dial into them and they yeah. had, they had a faster connection. They had a, T, a T1 line, I think. Yeah. Now, one thing you were bringing up, so I wanted to look up something here. I forgot about dialing into OU. Oh, gosh. Did we do that when we were there? No, I think I think we, they had come out with DSL by that time. No, I'll tell you what. I remember dialing into the OU modems for something. Because I remember they shut them down, because we were still there when they shut them down. They, they were there when we... They when, were, weren't they? Yeah, they were still there back in the early 2000s when we were there, and they shut them down... After we graduated, or soon when we were around graduating, but they had that 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 bank of modems you could dial into, and then, but they were not fast. They were not fast at all. No, no. Well, dial up was was a nightmare. I mean, what was the fastest that dial up went up to? Was it two fifty six kbs or? You're talking to the wrong guy. Or was guy. it? I think I think every once in a while, because you'd you'd hold your. You remember there'd be like the the picture in the corner of the two computers communicating. Yeah. Dee, 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 dee. yeah. yeah. And you you'd hover over it and it'd tell you your speed. And it would. I think it would fluctuate. At least when we were at when my brother was at OU, he would it would fluctuate from all the way up to like five twelve, which I want to say was the fastest for dial up at the time. Uh huh. Somebody might. Correct me on that, so don't. don't. Five twelve seems a little fast. I think two fifty six was two fifty six. It depends on your range, but I would I wouldn't think. I just remember I just remember in the evenings, like when a, I'm guessing a lot of students got on, it would like twenty. Yeah, it would drop down, and you'd end up with like sixty four. Yeah. Or and you're like no. And I, I I remember that, especially your ping rate. Yeah, and so this is well, this is now your ping rate. You're, I, I can't remember. we were talking about the Simpsons earlier. I wanted to, I was looking it up. The Simpsons was, they came on in 1989. Yeah. They debuted. This happened in 1991. So the Simpsons predated. The internet. The internet. The wow. world, well, not the internet, the World Wide world Web. World Wide Web. I, we keep saying that, but it's commonly, today well, everyone calls the World Wide Web the internet. It is, but. I want to make that distinction because I know there's those guys on the internet, whoever's listening, who will probably be like, no, the internet was made by the government in the 50s or the 60s. Yeah. And then they'll push up their glasses. And talk about so Arp ARPANET and all I'm it, making the distinction. We're talking about the World Wide Web, the graphical... The browser-based. Browser-based internet that we know today. And, and think about what all it has spawned, because now we we do all sorts of things with the internet. We go from, you know, doing research on there, looking at pictures, people using it to look up bad photos they probably shouldn't look up. Of Captain Janeway? Of Captain Janeway, <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of other things. And now we now we stream movies. We we do all of these different things. We got things like Netflix, Hulu, all these different shows. We 
it's come so far. I don't know that. I think the epitome of of the of the World Wide Web has been reached. I mean, we're on the World Wide Web, Nick. That's what we do. What? So I think, guys, we've the internet has reached Nirvana because our voices broadcast over. It has. Uh, the, these ones and zeros. Well, I'm going to say the only thing that would make it better is a podcast hosted by Nick Cage, Keanu Reeves, or, or and or, I want, you know what, I want all three. Nick Cage, Keanu Reeves, and Chuck Norris. Man, the Trinity of Power. And that's what they would name their podcast. The Trinity of Power. The I love Trin- it. Trinity of Power would be together and they would do a sweet, sweet podcast. They would be the only one that could beat ours. <laughs> but I mean, no, it'd be amazing. The, the internet has really opened up the world for people to be just about anything they want to, because we've talked about this before. We kind of live in a time right now where people can do whatever. Cause they can, Amazon's open the world to be able to do, you know, independent printing or independent. Oh, you're uh, talking about the books. Well, the books. And then we you know, podcasting has become a thing. Anybody can be basically a radio Video production on YouTube video or production Vimeo on YouTube. or any of the other uh, video sites. People people basically put out their own music under Sound, their own label. SoundCloud. I, I mean, mean, it's there's man. It has opened up the world for people to to really just follow your dreams and do what you want. And uh, I'm not doing a weird and, PSA and, here, and to realize but, how bad you are at your dreams and how there's always someone so good at it who's younger and better. Yeah. Oh. Makes well, and it's so also, mad. I mean, it's opened up the world for people to live out their sick, sick fantasies of watching, you know. What? Watching what? Porn. What what people call hold porn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you heard of this thing called porn? No, I'm not familiar. Can you describe it to me? Well, it has, it has a lot of nudity. Get it. Nudity? Yeah. Guys, on the internet? This, this is, this is out what? there. What? This is out there. Uh, like, I'm sure there's not that much. So really, I'm sure it's only like one or two images. Really, anybody can follow their dreams mm-hmm. thanks to the internet. <laughs> even, even the the weirdos that that's that slutty girl in high school. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, any, I you got do you have any of those girls in high school who said I'm gonna grow up and be a stripper? Well, anybody can be a model now. Oh yeah. Anybody, uh, Instagram models? Yeah. Anybody <laughs> can be a model or a, uh, you know. Radio star? Video star. <laughs> you know, there's all these terms out there we could use. Yeah, I mean, anybody can follow any dream, no matter how big or small or misguided, that yeah. they uh, they want to these days, thanks to the internet. God well, bless you, internet. Well, people listening, leave a, what was your first experience with the internet? I, I hope it wasn't this porn thing I just heard about. I'm really not in the loop, I guess. Uh, I hope it's something better than that. But I'll show you later. No, please. I'm good. <laughs> I'm Guy, I have, I, I, my eyes are virgins. I'm joking. I'm joking. No. Uh, leave us a comment saying, hey, this was my first experience. This is where I heard about the internet. This is the first thing I saw on the internet. Hope it's clean. But wait, Eric, there's more. There's, there's more what? There is more news to be brought because thanks to the internet, what? there's this little website, little known uh, thing that, you know. There's a, a website? Few people have heard of called U-Tub. U-Tub. Well, and actually, that's a different site. You can buy tubs there. Oh, yeah. I remember but that. I got my tub there. Related to that is a one called YouTube. Sometimes people mis- lot bigger. Mis- misspell the word U-Tub right. and go to YouTube. If you end up at U-Tub... Add an E at the end, and then you'll go to where you want to go, YouTube. I like YouTube. But basically, there is. we reported that there was going to be a follow-up to the old Karate Kid series. Yes, on our newscast. Yes, we our, did. Uh, news, yeah, yeah. Cast. We have newscast. some breaking news. Jimmy brought this straight to the news deck. Thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy, uh... Mm. Jimmy brought this to us. Let me let me read it to you right now. Who's over there that you're touching? Let me read it to you right now. <laughs> it says that a 10-episode series... Okay, ...called series. Cobra Kai... Is it G.I. Joe? ...is coming to YouTube Red. No, not not Cobra. Oh. Cobra Kai. That's the name of the dojo that Daniel Sin oh, fought... Oh, that's what that is. ...in, in one and three. 
but it's called Cobra Kai. So what's the premise of this new uh, Karate Kid spinoff series? Well, sir, that is a great question. Thank you. I pride myself on my good Ralph questions. Ralph Macchio has come out and said that he has very much over the years been trying to, you know, keep the legacy of Karate Kid pure. Pure. as you. When you think about Karate Kid, I think of the purity of Jaden Smith. Well, no, not not that one. Oh, oh, okay. Not that one. That was we're talking we're talking Mr. Miyagi. Oh, okay. We're talking Danielson. Oh, he. We're mean, talking the next Karate Kid with Hillary Swank and Miyagi. That's where she jumps on the car, right? Yes, it was a terribly misguided. That's movie. the one where she like he's like, "Where did you learn to do that?" And he, she, he's like, "That's Cobra, no, no, Tiger Jump thing." I remember that. Yes, it it was it was terrible. Anyway. In Cobra Kai, the series... Tell me. The, it is basically the rise of the Cobra Kai. Oh, my heroes! And Which is something that Danielson does not want to happen. See, I hated, I hated Karate Kid because these guys who had trained and, and suffered for their craft of, you know, karate, got beat by this newbie. This would never happen. He had no dedication like the Cobra Kai kids. <sighs> I hope the Cobra Kai kids get their get what's coming to them, their glory and honor that they deserve. Well, this I I mean this this may actually happen. Yes. Uh it says it is not unlike how Creed was a film that was about Apollo Creed's son but but had Rocky Balboa in it in a certain way. So this is this is what it is being compared to okay uh it is uh i mean it is being done by two people that's the reason by Dan, two people yeah it's being done by two people that Dan, that ralph macchio say have a, a a great vision for it it's happening it's it's set 30 years later uh john hayden and john had some smart and fresh angles according to what ralph macchio said here uh, let's see here. Something about Johnny befriends one of Daniel's kids, and that is how it connects that world into our own rivalry rivalry world. Now, if Johnny. you remember Johnny, Johnny was the rival yeah. from part one. It's my hero. Yeah, he's the he, one. He's perfect. He's blonde haired, blue eyed. I mean, he's he's Hitler's wet dream. Well, and that's what makes him the perfect hero for this story. Exactly. So this is, well, and, and he ends it here. It says, let's see here. It goes back to the places where you just can't let go. You're still a teenager at heart and yet balances your adult life. It's like the rise of Cobra Kai. It is the worst nightmare for somebody like Daniel LaRusso. LaRusso. Huh. So there is going Man. to be a 10 episode. Where's this going at? YouTube. Red. Do you have a YouTube Red subscription that I can I borrow? I don't, sir. Neither do I. I might have to get a free YouTube Red subscription. I'm yeah. I might have to. <laughs> I might have to join and get their free trial for a week and just binge watch ten episodes of my childhood. We should. When is it coming out? Does it say? Uh, no, it doesn't. It says 2018 is all. It oh, says. we got, we got, we got a little time. What else come? That we had some other stuff coming out in 2018. I can't remember what it was though. Buddy, I I heard Rocco's Modern Life is coming back. Is that true? Uh, you know that's a good question. Was, I haven't heard a anything. Rumor I heard. I mean, we have Ducktales coming out <gasps> this weekend. I, I'm I not going to get to watch it. But. I don't know Rocco's Modern Life is coming out, but I do know that Hey Arnold is coming back fairly soon. Oh really? Yeah they they have a new a new special coming up. It's a it's a movie of Hey Arnold. I hate Hey Arnold. Rocco and Modern Life movie Nickelodeon reunion airing in 2018. See, they're bring Nickelodeon's bringing back all of their pretty much all their lineup and kind movies. of their classic 90s. Well, kind there's of. yeah, I mean Invader Zim's getting a movie. Rocco Modern Life is. I try to get my kids into Invader Zim because it's really well done. It's right. funny. It my is. kids just couldn't get into it, so it's like I don't have a chance to watch it. And it kind of makes me sad. It makes me not like my kids. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of nostalgia. They're 90, like you said, the 90s mix here. There's a lot of nostalgia that's... Speaking of nostalgia, and we got to keep moving forward. I'm sorry. We only got a few more minutes. I watched something with my kids. 
What I did watched you watch? Harry and the Hendersons with my kids. Never they really liked this. it. You never heard of Harry and the Hendersons? No, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. John Gleese? Yes, I've heard of this. Movie. Oh my I goodness! It. My heart sank for you, Nick. I no wonder no one likes you, except for well, me. Well, no, that that has some that has something to do with the addiction. <laughs> the addiction. <laughs> Why well, was your supplier? Trust, so, like, trust we had a issues. Special relationship. Trust issues. Uh, yeah, hair. I was hearing the Hendersons with my kids. They, my, my son liked it. My oldest son. He's uh, about ten. He liked it. The other two kind of got bored with it because it's it's almost a two hour long movie. I didn't realize how long that movie was. That's pretty good. Speaking of Eric, and also I'm watching uh, the Van Helsing series on Netflix. A bit slow. Eric Eric watches. That's been our report. Uh, November yep. 2017 is when the Hey Arnold movie comes out. It's called uh, the Hey Arnold Jungle Movie. Jungle Movie. And it's okay. it will be the definitive series finale. And definitive. Will answer, <laughs> will answer questions left after the original run ended, including the whereabouts of Arnold's missing parents, which. I'm going to guess, since it's named The Jungle Movie, you want to guess where they're probably going to be? Uh, Chicago. Chicago. That's right. The Concrete Jungle. The Concrete Jungle. Is that what the Concrete Jungle is? I don't know. Uh, Chicago's pretty dangerous. Yeah. Detroit. <laughs> Chicago is pretty dangerous. That's where uh, two people got dragged off planes and a bunny got killed like we reported on. Yeah, Big Bunny Bertha got murdered. All That's right. By right. Delta, right? Delta yeah. United. One of the two. All right. All right, Eric, any final things to report? Any final things that you know of that are happening in the world right now? Oh, there's this of, day, th- there's August 9th, Wednesday, August 9th. Is there anything else that you know of? Yeah. Uh, no, there, I can't think of anything. I think we, we covered it pretty well. We talked we talked about some good stuff. We, what did we talk about today? Eric, what did we learn today? Let us, let's remember... We talked about High C, how yep. it's leaving us. How Goodbye, old friend. Happy yep. trails to you. Yeah. We learned about the internet, the World Wide Web, when it came about. Well, I had our experience with it. And I feel like... Tell us your experience. I feel like we grew a little bit from it. Yes, I feel, I feel like taller. We, we have really seen a lot of things thanks to it. We also talked about Nickelodeon shows coming back. We mentioned DuckTales being, coming back. Yes. And we, uh, well, we failed to mention one. Th- oh, we talked about Cobra Kai. I was like, where are you going? We did fail to mention one thing. What's that? I watched something today. A little, a little trailer dropped, got leaked from uh, one of those Comic-Con things. Comic-Con. No, oh, we'll it was talk about the, that another day. It was the Avengers Infinity War trailer. Oh. Where with old Thanos showing up and Thanos. it begins with the Guardians of the Galaxy flying through, Thor lands on their windshield, the the raccoon says, Get it off, get it off, get it off. Rocket the raccoon. Yeah, the raccoon. It's good enough. And so it all begins that way. Then Thanos he gets to show off a little bit in the trailer, beating up on a lot of people. Nice. There's I mean, there's not much revealed in the trailer, but it it makes it look pretty amazing. <laughs> as, oh, did you like all, it? Yeah, I mean, it looked like it was going to be a good movie. I, you know, a lot of action. A lot of action. Okay. I mean, it. This is this is Thanos showing up and and bringing war. Man, so who knows what's going to happen, buddy? It. We got a lot to look forward to in these days. Okay, cool. In the days ahead, we uh, we really need to buckle down, come together, and prepare for war. Well, I mean, yeah, the coming onslaught of the technology. Yeah, the the we, AI is going to kill us right, all. Right, we've all talked about they're, it. T- teaming, they're teaming up with nature. Nature and the AI are coming together to destroy humanity. Well, it's true. By the way, did you hear about those two AIs that had to be shut down because they were communicating in their own language? No, we'll talk about it another day. Okay, we'll have to talk about <laughs> wow. that. Wow, I'm you so excited to read you, that story you, now. You did, not, <laughs> you did not hear about that? No, I did not. Okay. All right, everybody, thank you for joining us. As always, we're going to have to leave you with the cliffhanger right there. Not always we do we that. We never but, do that. But as always, we enjoy doing this, and we hope you enjoyed listening to us. Eric, where can they find us? You can find us all over this World Wide Web we discussed. You can find us on YouTube. Just search for Pull Up a Chair. You can find us on Twitter. Just search for Pull Up a Chair. We even have our own website. 
It's pucpodcast.website. Pucpodcast.website. Where else can you find us? You can find us many other places. In- you can find us on Podbean. You can find us on uh, Stitcher. Stitcher. You can find us. Eric, you know what? You want to listen to a podcast? Look for Pull Up a Chair and you'll probably find us there. I like that. You look for Pull Up a Chair and you'll probably find us there. there. Yeah. I think we got a slogan. We do. We do. <laughs> Well, actually, our slogan's nostalgia to the max, but you know what? Pull up a chair and find us there. Nostalgia to the max. So, everybody, we hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Thank you for listening, as always. Once again, we are very humbled that you choose to listen to us, choose to download us. And please, tell a friend, tell somebody, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment, tell us how we're doing. We like hearing from people. We often celebrate more than we probably should, and we'll probably get a response back to us, a response back from us if you actually leave us something. There's more than just, hey, go to my podcast and listen to it. Anyway, so thank you once again. Eric, final thoughts? None. All right. Bye. Bye.